What's up, YouTube? This is SK Shuyan, and I'm bringing you Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi Battle number 30. Ooh, I almost said 36. I'm at 39. Huh, caught myself on that one. So, it looks like I'm going up against Legendary Pokemon again. And, uh, yeah, so he, the guy starts off with, uh, I meant to get his name, but it's Sam. Yeah, he starts off with Deanshi, I'm starting off with my Skarmory, I use Stealth Rock, he hits me with a, is that Moonblast or Dazzling Gleam? Uh, either way, it didn't do that much damage. But, uh, yeah, so he uses Rock Tomb, and now he's going to use Diamond Storm. I guess he's just using moves just to use it to see... Uh, how much he can get off of me and like me missing my steel wing like really really hurt me because I could have knocked this thing out with one hit I believe maybe not but anyway uh, he hits me with diamond storm but that's okay um, Skarmory did his job he or her his her job getting the uh, stuff rocks up because that's gonna come in handy in this battle um, his dance, he also has uh, Shell Bell, as you just saw. So now I'm going to go into Age of Slash, knowing that this thing can barely do any damage to me. And I'm going to Swords Dance, and apparently I'm faster as well. So that's, that's a plus. So it's going to Diamond Storm. Doesn't do much damage to me at all. But he does get the defense boost and get some HP back from Shell Bell, which is perfectly fine with me. And uh, he's going to switch out. Because he, you know, he already knows that I can take any hit. So, upon him switching now, I'm just going to do another Swords Dance. So now I'm at a plus four. Uh, my Aegis Slash should be, able to knock, should be able to KO almost anything on his team now with one hit. I'm not going to outspeed anything except for that Deanshi from what I've seen. But I can use Shadow Sneak and take out this Rayquaza who's already been weakening from the Stealth Rocks. And... I believe I would have still took it out with one hit anyway. So now he's going to bring in Darkrai. This is the only Pokemon that can really, really hurt my Aegis Slash, but I'm most likely to take it out with one hit if if allowed to. So I'm just going to Shadow Sneak, uh, thinking that I could take it out with one hit, but I don't. So that's unfortunate for that. Um, I, even though I knew it was not very, it was, you know, not very effective at all, but still. So. He uses Dark Boy, put me to sleep. I get tormented by the Bad Dreams. And I'm just gonna switch out my Aegis Slash because my Aegis Slash, like, even though it's sleep, it's still gonna be, it's still gonna be very handy. So now I'll bring in my Infernic, knowing that the Dark type move is coming. He uses Dark Pulse. And also I can mock punch this thing and take it out on my on my next turn. So goodbye, Dark Rai. No, Dark Rai is gonna, you know, mess up my plans of winning this battle because, you know, everybody knows that I'm the Legend Killer and I kill the legendary Pokemon. So he brings in Lugia and he Arrow Blast. I should have switched out, but I didn't really want anything to take that Arrow Blast. So I'm sorry about that, Infernape. So that's fine. So now I'm going to switch into my Aurorus, um, mainly be, mainly to set up the light screen, because once I get this light screen set up, none of his special attackers, if he do, if he does have a special attacker, none of those attacks will be able to do too much damage to anything anymore. Especially since uh, legendary Pokemon that I've gone up against, they're not EV trained anyway. But anyway, he switched out Lugia into his Xerneas now, and. Based off previous experiences with Xerneas, they have close combat, so yeah. So I switched into Rose Ray and I predicted well, because you know, I've dealt with Xerneas. They always have this close combat for some odd reason, but not really odd reason. I mean, why not have close combat on the a Xerneas? But anyway, I didn't take a lot of damage. I mean, I did take a lot of damage from the close combat. But now he's going to just use Dazzling Gleam, and not, it's not going to do a lot. His defense went down, after the, and special defense went down from the close combat. I'm just going to Mega Drain, or Giga Drain. Either one. I did it, and, you know, I got some HP back, so I'm kind of good right there with that. So now he realizes that he's in a bad situation, and he's going to switch back out to Lugia, and it's going to take more Stealth Rock damage. 
bringing it down to half, but he has the citrus berry, you know, boy, I'm sorry, he has a mango berry, which is still fine, because, you know, I'm just going to toxic this thing, I'm just going to whittle, whittle this thing down, because I believe this is the Pokemon with the highest special defense on his team, but, uh, you know, I'm in a bad matchup, so I'm just going to switch out my Rose Ray, and I'm going to bring my Auroras back in, because my Auroras can take any move that it wants to do and it's going to use the arrow blast and with the light screen up it does pitiful damage so now it's going to take some toxic damage in my light screen and wears off and I, I see this so I'm like hmm is he going to stay in it? Is he going to switch out but of course he's going to switch out back into his Xerneas and take more stealth rock damage but I'm like okay not too worry about that either so I'm just gonna reset the light screen right back up I mean like why wouldn't I so he's gonna get some HP back from his leftovers and I'm thinking like should I just stay in and use ice beam or hyper beam or should I switch out but based off what his moveset is from what I've seen he's gonna use close combat and he did I predicted it by switching into my Aegis Slash and Right now, he 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 has. I mean, he can stay in if he wants. It's not the best of moves, or he can switch out because his Age of Slash is at a disadvantage. Not my Age of Slash. His Xerneas is at a disadvantage against my Age of Slash. I mean, not only am I being protected by Light Screen, but uh, I resist his Fairy type moves, regardless of the fact that his Fairy type moves will, you know, have higher power. But I resist it, and the Light Screen is up. And now he's just setting up Calm Minds to basically try to get more damage and potentially sweep my team, but that's not going to happen because my Aegis Slash wakes up and I headbutt and I take this Xerneas out. So his main attacker that he had left is gone. It's going to bring up his DNC, and I already know that I can outspeed this thing, so I'm just going to go straight into the Iron Head take out the Deanchi that's four times effective damage to it and that's gone so now he's left with Lugia right is that the last his last Pokemon maybe not I don't think that's his last Pokemon but anyway it's gonna take stealth rock damage on top of that it's been toxic and I can shadow sneak it for super effective damage so it can't do anything and his Lugia is gonna go down as well so yeah, he does have one Pokemon. He has one Pokemon left, and he's going to bring out his Sweet Coon. Now, he can surrender and run if he wants. That would be good for him, you know, just to get out of this. But he ends up using Cut. I don't know why, but hey, to each his own. At least that's what I'm told a lot. But anyway, Swords Dance up, because I already know I'm not going to one-hit KO this thing. Not with a Shadow Sneak anyway. And I'm just going to use Swords Dance again. That's plus four. And now I'm going to Stance Chain with Aegis Slash. Putting up my King Shield, because he's using Dive. And not only can I protect myself, he's also going to lose Attack. Like, I think he lost two stages of Attack. His Attack harshly fell. So that's that's already telling me he has a physical sweet cone because he used dive and he had cut or maybe this was his HM Pokemon. Either way, uh, my Aegis Slash can't be beat by this sweet cone at the moment. So basically, this is good game. Thank you, Sam, for this match. I love going up against legendary Pokemon just to show people that just because somebody has legendary Pokemon does not mean they are going to win. So subscribers, non-subscribers, like, comment. And for those not subscribers, subscribe. There I have links down there below for you to contact me, leave feedback, leave feedback in this video. This was SK Shunyan, and I'm out.